Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about another story coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida, okay? Only in Florida would these two stories be making national news at the same damn time. And both of these stories are coming from West Palm Beach. So what's going down now is that we have another teenager. Yes, another one. This one is a black 18-year-old kid. His name is Malachi Love Robinson. And he went by the name The Love Doctor. And basically this young man was able to open up his own business practicing medicine in the state of Florida. This entire situation is crazy as hell. This young boy was basically able to fool everyone into believing he was a doctor, even though he looks to be about 15 or 16, and he has a mohawk, but no one questioned that. He even had pictures on his website with his doctor's assistants, which to me looked like his mother and his grandmother. This whole situation is just re damn ridiculous. So he was arrested yesterday after people started complaining that they weren't really feeling comfortable with him and that they didn't really think he was a real doctor. Doctor. Well, as of today, he's speaking out with ABC News. And when I tell you this interview got hot and heavy, this whole situation was just insane. I want you guys to check out both of these news clips. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Right now, an 18-year-old under arrest accused of posing as a doctor. Detectives say he was running a medical office and didn't even have a license to practice. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office arrested 18-year-old Malachi Love Robinson. They say he opened a medical office on North Congress Avenue in West Palm Beach. On Love Robinson's <coughs> Facebook page, his occupation is listed as owner physician at New Birth Life Holistic and Alternative Medical Center. Today, during an undercover sting, detectives say he performed a physical exam on an undercover agent and offered medical advice. Love Robinson was also investigated and cited by the Department of Health for practicing medicine without a license last October. George Malachi Love Robinson is a precocious 18-year-old who just opened a medical clinic with his name on the door, but he's still very much a youngster who showed up at the interview with his grandfather. Now, he told me he finished being homeschooled at 15, has a passion for helping people. He may soon also have a police record. Malachi Love Robinson, the teen, marched out of his Florida clinic in handcuffs. Malachi, they say you've been practicing medicine without a license. Sitting down with ABC News overnight, released from jail early Wednesday morning on a $21,000 bail after being busted in a sting operation in West Palm Beach, caught allegedly giving a medical exam to an undercover officer. Are you a doctor of anything? Anything at all? I do currently hold um, a PhD um, in what I don't feel comfortable disclosing uh, because that is not the issue here. Um, but you the issue treat people that at your I office. face now well, is accusations. The 18 year old indeed facing serious accusations from police. Seven, including grand theft and allegedly practicing medicine without a license. And last month, he proudly showed off his medical center to our affiliate WPFB. This is the New Birthing Life Medical Center. But peel back the tape, and the sign on the door has his name and these two crucial letters. MD. And that sign on the door was actually due to be changed. There are many types of degrees out there that hold the title as doctor, whether they are a physicist or an engineer. Just because someone has a title doctor in front of their name does not necessarily imply MD. Have you had training? I have. I have shadowed many doctors. You're saying your training comprises shadowing other doctors, real doctors. That's your training in medicine. Your training comprises of a lot of things. But you weren't in med school. Exactly. So I am not, I am not portraying as, as an MD. I've okay, never said you... that I've gone to school to be a MD. But the teen who goes by Dr. Love does advertise an array of treatments on his medical center website, including phototherapy, food and air therapy, and naturopathy. I have been studying this particular field for a while. Um, may not have been eight years, nine years, ten years, but it has been long enough to, I would say, justify um, what I do. Including apparently treating the elderly. In a criminal complaint, an 86-year-old woman said he recently treated her for severe stomach pain, paying him nearly $3,500. What services did you provide in exchange for that money? I can tell you this. Accusations are merely accusations. And 
services you'd have to define that um whether she paid for me to just show up that's up to her you're not denying the fact that she paid you three thousand five hundred dollars or so correct no i am denying that are you a fraud because it seems like everything you're saying to me is either evasive or an outright lie i don't appreciate your tone I don't appreciate the way you're portraying this interview to actually be. And then a moment we didn't expect. Are you in big trouble? I mean, it seems like you've spoken to a lawyer who's prepared you for to talk not only to the media, but the police as well. I don't know where you're seeing this information from, but it is inaccurate. Um, I'm sorry, questions. I'm going to have to cut this in this interview short. I'm going to have to cut this in interview short. And in fact, he did walking out the door. Now, we have a standing offer to Malachi to finish that interview. The teen has not yet been arraigned, but insisted throughout the interview he has done nothing wrong. He has also said that when all this clears up, he intends to open another clinic. All right, so you guys just checked out both these news clips. This whole situation is insane, and that's why I said in the last video that the last teenager who pretended to be a doctor, he must have been white, because like I said, I can't find not one picture of him, not anything, but yet and still this young black kid is being plastered all over worldwide news. Both of these fake ass Doogie Howser wannabes need to have several damn seats, okay? First of all, I'm gonna need Malachi to calm the hell down. This kid comes off to me like a sociopath. He really does not see anything wrong in what he's done. He's very condescending. He talks a lot. He talks around in circles. And most importantly, he takes absolutely no personal responsibility for his actions, okay? People paid this young man cash money to basically, you know, take care of them and be their doctor and this young boy caught himself you know delivering services that he had no business delivering and I love in the interview how he said he's had years of practice and that he's worked under other doctors Dude, you're 18. Like, when did you have time to do this? When you were 12 and 13? What do you mean you've had years of practice? You know, you're 18 years old. You've not had years of practice around doctors. This is ridiculous. This is not a tattoo shop where you can just come in and ask to be an apprentice for a few years. This is a serious situation where you're trying to give people medical advice. You could have literally killed somebody unbeknownst to them. I mean, this whole situation to me is just insane. And another thing that bothers me with this situation, this kid is 18 years old, okay? Where did he get the money to fund this business? You know, there has to be more people involved in this and they're making Malachi the scapegoat. First of all, who are those two ladies in that ad with him claiming to be doctors? Like I said before, I feel like those two ladies are his mother and his grandmother, okay? How did he get the money to have this building to have this practice? Most 18 year olds don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. But you mean tell me that this 18 year old kid was able to buy an entire business? Nobody in Florida batted an eyelash or went to, you know, question anything about this? The whole situation to me is just crazy. I'm also reading that he dropped out of the 10th grade and he supposedly was being homeschooled. He's also an ordained minister. I mean, this kid is doing a lot of shit for only being 18 years old. You know, while part of me is kind of mad at him and is like, you know, he's very arrogant. He needs to have several damn seats. Part of me is also like, you know what? He's kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? This is some shit I would have never thought about doing when I was 18. This is not normal of most 18 year olds. So for him to literally set up an entire business, you know, create an entire false practice, I got to kind of give the little dude props. He's very innovative. You know what I'm saying? But he's innovative in a dangerous way. And he needs to be molded properly. He needs to take all that positive energy and him wanting to be a doctor and put all that energy into actually going to school to go become a doctor. You know what I'm saying? You can't just cut the line and then give yourself the name doctor it's one thing if you're dr dre you know what i'm saying and you're rapping and you're making beats again dr dre is not a real doctor and he's also not performing on people but when you're calling yourself a doctor and you're actually trying to give medical advice that's why i have to draw the line he's doing a little bit too much but these two situations are just crazy as hell to me i don't understand how both of these situations are going on in the state of florida in the same city so now it makes me feel like you know what i wonder if there's other 17 and 18 year olds at the hospitals pretending to be doctors. This is not normal at all, but yet and still, both these situations are going on at the same damn time in ratchet ass Florida. Only in Florida would there be two cases at the same time of two teenagers pretending to be doctors. Where they do this at? Oh, never mind. 
ratchet ass Florida. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, coming from our first favorite state. What do y'all think about bootleg ass, doogie, how we want to be ass, Malachi Love, aka Dr. Love, pretending to be a doctor and opening up his own practice? And then how do you feel about him not taking any personal responsibility and not even thinking that he did anything wrong? And then also, do you feel like there's more people involved in this situation and not just Malachi because he was able to open up this business and get a loan and everything else? Do you feel like his parents or his mother, his grandmother, other people are involved in this as well? So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. That's once again coming from wretched ass Florida. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.